I overthrew you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a brand snatched from the blaze, and yet you never came back to me. It is the Lord who speaks. This, therefore, Israel, is what I plan to do to you. And because I am going to do this to you, Israel, prepare to meet your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Lead me. You are no God who loves evil, and no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus got into the boat, followed by his disciples. Without warning, a storm broke over the lake, so violent that the waves were breaking right over the boat. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are going down. And he said to them, why are you so frightened, you men of little faith? And with that he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and all was calm again. The men were astounded and said, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we come face to face with the nature of humanity of Jesus. Jesus is tired with his work, exhausted completely with the healing, preaching and traveling continuously and when he is boarding the boat now he goes to sleep and he is fast asleep just like any one of us when we board in the plane or in the train or when we travel by bus if we are tired we fall asleep and we have complete trust on the driver or on the pilot in the plane we trust that pilot or the driver will reach us safe similar trust even Jesus had on his disciples that they will handle the situation because they were fishermen they were good boatmen and they will handle the situation but the storm was so strong that they could not handle it and they came and they woke Jesus up. And then Jesus is scolding them because of their little faith. But at least they have little faith. In one episode, Jesus is praising. Even if you have 
a phase of a phase tinier than a mustard seed you say this mountain to go and fall in the sea and it will happen so even little faith is praised by jesus this disciples of jesus are frightened and they go to him and the fact they ask jesus save us lord we are going down it shows their little faith they are frightened but they have little faith in jesus they get scolding from jesus because they have seen the miracle of jesus and yet their faith is shaky and we see how jesus calms the storm he had power over the nature my dear brothers and sisters today's situation can be compared with this situation a whole a whole world is like a boat and this boat has come across with a storm of covid-19 and the waves of fear the waves of anxiety and worry fear of death fear of getting infected fear of losing job we are anxious what will happen in the future all these waves are hitting our boat and we are frightened at this moment what we need to do is to turn to jesus just as disciples turned to jesus and they were saved we need to turn to jesus at the same time we need to grow in our faith and that is what is expected we know god is there at this situation we are also feeling that god is fast asleep but god is not fast asleep he knows us and only he can save us and through our faith in jesus even if we die we are saved if we have faith in jesus that is what saint paul in his letters tells us that our faith saves us our faith in jesus saves us during this mass we pray that god may strengthen our faith we ask the gift of faith during this mass amen Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts to Christ. Our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you o father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of the angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as and we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. His beauty. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My dear Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Forgive my sins, Lord, and since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you. 
This was a nice Marathi hymn which says that when we can't control our boat, we need to give the control of our boat to Jesus and He will control it and He will bring our boat of life safely at the eternal life or at the seashore of eternal life. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Children who this year will be in the 4th standard and want to receive First Holy Communion, please fill in a form that is available in the parish office. Confirmation children who this year will be in the 11th standard, kindly fill up a confirmation form at the earliest that is available in the parish office. Thank you. Oh, give thanks to the 